What's up, peeps? It's Shane. Hey, I want to start out by apologizing, guys. I know I haven't posted in a few days. I've just had a, I don't know, just had a weird time the past week or so. A lot of stuff going on. But I uh, wanted to do my final review on my Blade Ops loaners, and it is on the Kershaw Launch 14. Um, as you see here, I got the Launch 1 and the 13 set out, too. Um, I've really enjoyed spending some time with these knives, guys. And I think one of the reasons why I have enjoyed it so much, and um, I'll go back to this. I, I do truly love my ProTech. Um, but I, I think I've discovered something. The reason why I think I have enjoyed uh, carrying these Kershaw launch series is because of the slightly uh, lighter uh, action on these. You know, these don't fire as hard. Um, and for me, with my condition with my hands, I don't have to think about it as much. I don't have to concentrate on the fact of whether or not I have a sturdy enough grip. Am I going to let go of the knife? It's just been easier in all honesty. You know, um, I'm sure it's nicer driving a big body Benz every day, but if you just need to run to the store and, you know, to, to, to grab a, pack, a gallon of milk or whatever, a Honda Civic's just a whole lot easier and I'm not saying this is a Honda Civic. I'm, that's just what comes to my mind. It's just easier. It's, it's slightly more convenient. Um, not as much effort or thought has to go into it. And with these designs, especially these two, I know this is a very classic just drop point knife design, but um, I've been more excited about these because I feel like Kershaw needs to do something a little different, something a little extra to grab our attention. And I feel like they accomplished that with both the 13 and the 14. Um, I do really like this cleaver style blade. There's a couple of things about these knives that um, one that I wanted to go over on the 13 that I forgot to. But if you notice little things like this little cutout, this machined, this milled part right here, um, it does nothing. It's good for nothing. It's completely unnecessary. It's a whole lot like this notch that they cut in here. Um, you know, it, it really serves no purpose that I know of. I guess in a camping situation, you could use that to lift a, uh, a, a pot, you know, the pots that have the, the metal ring. Anyway, I'm, I don't know that this is an ideal camping knife, but what I'm getting at is they, they did things that, that just weren't necessary. However, they added to the knife aesthetically. They made it slightly more interesting. Um and, and I appreciate it. You know, the, the milling that's done here with this section um, up here that's that's flush and level with this. But, you know, this is milled out. They milled out around it. All this is just really cool. Is this all, you know, perfect, seamless um, construction? No. No, it's not. But, but I don't care. Um, I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. You know, of course, it's just got your standard... Very boring, very basic Kershaw um, pocket clip on it, as well as the 13 does is also. But um, I've been really happy with this knife. And to be honest, after carrying it, I like it as much as I do the 13. Um, you know, it, it, it cuts really well. It's got a taller grind, so it's probably slicier than, than the 13. Um, you know, it gets very thin behind the edge. It's a very good cutter. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting enough looking without being overly tactical or menacing looking the CPM 154. I have absolutely no issue with, I'll tell you, uh, guys, it, it holds an edge, um, for a perfect, perfectly acceptable time. I do recommend you sharpen it at a lower grit. I don't like to go over 600 grit on CPM 154, leaves it nice and toothy. It polishes beautifully. However, it does not hold that polished edge for a very long time. So I like to leave these toothy. Um, yeah, I, I think the knife is worth every penny. It's made in the United States, as all of these are. So there's that pride of ownership. There's that pride in knowing that you supported a company that benefits the, uh, the American economy. So all that's great. The action is great. The build seems great. Um, I think it's a home run. I don't think you can go wrong with it, guys. If you're interested in any of the launch series, 
you know, especially if you're in one of those states that has blade length requirements on automatic knives, Kershaw offers plenty of California legal autos. Um, none of these three are those, um, but I'm not in California, so I don't typically buy the, the, the smaller knives. But, um, you know, I, I, in all honesty, guys, I, as much as I love Protex products, and as much as I love this knife, even though a lot of it is sentimental value, um, I will admit I cannot find $150 more value in this than I can in these. Not as far as uh, some of its parts and the performance of 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 those of that sum. I don't think the Protex worth you know even $100 more. M maybe $50 more for the name. I don't know and. That's probably still all you're getting is the name. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, um, I 100% stand behind the Kershaw line series. Um, these were loaned into me by Blade Ops. I would very much appreciate if you guys use my Blade Ops link to make your purchases there. Um, it's the only affiliate that I have. It's they're the only people helping support the channel other than you guys. And I appreciate that more than you guys know. So that's all I've got for y'all today. Y'all know I appreciate any amount of time y'all spend with me. Peace. Love y'all.